Hey guys, what am I doing here? And in this video, I'm going to talk about the latest Note 20 series that has been launched in India. And I was really excited for this, but uh, after seeing the launch, I have some issues with the, the new latest uh, devices that they have launched. So let's talk about it right now. So the biggest disappointment uh, that I have with the launch is with the Galaxy Note 20. So now this device in India will be available for 78,000 Indian rupees and this is made of plastic. So I don't understand why Samsung went with this choice because even phones that are in the 20,000 range right now are coming with a glass body. So they don't have to go with, you know, Gorilla Glass 7. They could have just gone with Gorilla Glass 5 or 6 because it's all about the feel. And if the phone is costing 80,000, roughly 80,000 Indian rupees, I believe it should still feel premium in hand. So this is a really big gripe that I have with the Note 20 uh, and there are there, there is more. So we'll just talk about the specifications that this phone offers now so that we'll get a better idea why I'm disappointed in the specifications. Firstly, we'll talk about the big brother, which is the Note 20 Ultra. Definitely, it is one of the most beautiful devices that I've ever seen. Uh, but talking about the specs that is there, it comes with an Exynos 990, which is a six months old processor. We had the same processor in the S20 series in India. And the other uh, countries are getting Snapdragon 865 Plus, uh, which is a huge advantage in terms of graphics and even the basic performance and battery life. We get the 12 gigabyte and 256GB variant in India. Uh, this will have a 6.9 inch Super AMOLED Dynamic AMOLED display which supports 120Hz but again only at 1080p and not at Quad HD resolution. So this is another problem. Uh, the battery life, battery capacity is 4500mAh. Uh, it supports 25W charging. This time the 45W charging support is not there in this device. Uh, the camera wise we have a 108 megapixel primary camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and 12 megapixel telephoto camera on the back. Uh, we also have the 5x optical zoom over there so it's really good and the phone can do up to 50x of zoom. Uh, and all of this package comes at a price of 1,5000 Indian rupees. It is roughly 30% costlier than the Note 10 plus when it arrived. And considering the fact that we do not get the top of the line specifications in terms of the chipset, we are getting a chipset which is 6 months old and other countries are getting the Snapdragon 865 Plus. I would say this is a major disappointment in terms of the actual performance that will get out of the device. No doubt it's a very powerful device and Note series has always been one of the most powerful series in the world. But with this chipset, I would say, and the price point, 1,5,000, you are pushing into the iPhone territory. And we know that in terms of hardware and software capabilities, you cannot beat iPhone. They are really, really good. Price was one advantage where Samsung was on the top and now they have given that up as well. Talking about the uh, specifications of the Note 20 now, this is where I think Samsung has dropped the ball really badly. Note 20 comes with again Exynos 990 processor, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage in the Indian variant. This has a 6.7 inch AMOLED display which supports 60Hz and it's a full HD panel. So again this is one uh, downgrade which Samsung has done. The battery capacity is 4300mAh, it supports 25W fast charging. It has a plastic build as I mentioned before, this is really really bad because anyone who has touched the device, the other reviewers, they have said that it does not give a premium feel in the hand. Uh, there is no micro SD card expansion, another uh, very difficult decision uh, for me to understand. And in India they are only launching the 4G variant uh, of the phone and it does not make any sense anyways to launch a 5G variant. But then again, it's possible that next year 5G will take speed in India and this device won't be able to handle that. So this is only 4G variant. And camera wise, we have a 12 megapixel primary camera. Uh, we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 64 megapixel telephoto camera over here. Uh, and uh, the price of all this package is 78,000 Indian rupees. So as I said that the decisions that Samsung has made for this is really controversial for me. Uh, because recently OnePlus has become the leader again in the premium smartphone segment in India with 30% market share ahead of Samsung. And this launch of Note 20 series in India, I don't think is going to help it because again, 
If we talk about the fact that the OnePlus 8 which will be compared to Note 20 and the OnePlus 8 Pro will be compared to Note 20 Ultra, the costliest OnePlus 8 will uh, is at around 50,000 Indian rupees which is still 28,000 cheaper. It has a met uh, glass metal belt, it looks premium. It has a 90 Hz Super AMOLED display, full HD but it is at 90 Hz. The battery capacity is same, uh, it is a 5G variant so and it has Snapdragon 865. So again, it's a really tough competition to the Note 20 and when you talk about the Ultra, same thing happens over there. There are almost similar specifications. The OnePlus 8 Pro runs at Quad HD Plus and 120 Hz whereas Samsung still does not support it. It has a faster charging at 30 watts versus the 25 watt which is available over here. And the price difference is of 45,000 Indian rupees which is massive. So I think that at this price point and the specifications that they are providing, it's very difficult to justify the value uh, in purchasing a Note device right now. No doubt Note 20 Ultra is an extremely appealing device but at 1,5,000 Indian rupees, I think there are other options which are way better and they'll save you a lot of money in terms of the value that they provide and even with the entry of ROG phones and the MI Note series phones I feel it's it will get difficult for Samsung to justify this price point especially when they're not even providing the Snapdragon variant in India they are providing a chipset which is six months old in their own countries in South Korea they provide Snapdragon variant so I don't understand why this is done and Note 20 could have been a really good device if they had not made such kind of uh, decisions in terms of the build quality and excluding the micro SD expansion and even having a 60 hertz panel on a 80,000 rupees phone right now. So which is just not the trend. Uh, I would really love to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, you can write in the comments below. Did you like the device and uh, what are your thoughts on the specifications? And uh, guys, if you like the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll definitely see you in my next video. Peace.